guys Tiana here and it is well day one for me um, yesterday Monday was my birthday so I slept in didn't have <laughs> uh, didn't do any exercise and ate everything that I wanted for my last meal um, so today is my official start date which is Tuesday the 10th as much as I didn't want to I woke up early um, so I woke up early and I basically just threw in some clothes, um, some sneakers and I'm hanging down, I'm just going to walk down to the lake, we've got a little lake around here, I think it's a 5k track around, so I'm going to walk down to the lake and then jog around the um, lake, it also appears guys that I'm the only one out and about at 6.25 this morning um, but that's okay so got my earphones in and I'll listen to some music and I'll check back in I hope you did it Lexi let's go I just thought I'd check in on my fit, uh, fitness week. Uh, I'm doing really good. I've been um, getting up every morning and going for a walk. It was meant to be a run, but it's not. Um, but I'm still walking, which is really good. And every morning I've been having a smoothie. Um, I'm not, I have never been really into smoothies. I don't know a ton of recipes. So I did a little bit of a cheat and I bought some pre-packaged smoothies. I'll show you what I'm using so far. So I've got these boost uh, packs, so they come with uh, three fruit pouches in each. So I've got different flavors there. Um, so this far, this one was the only one I had tried and today I'm trying this one with pineapple, mango, carrot, passion fruit and grapes. Noah, what are you doing on the table? Are you making smoothie? Smoothie. So they come in little pouches like this. I have only been using about a half pouch and halving the recipe. So I'm actually getting six bags per thing um, because I just find that's enough for me. Um, so it's just all the frozen fruit and then you either add, it will tell you what to add. So this morning I added uh, orange juice and coconut water. Um, this one you add milk and I believe this one is just coconut water. It's got some spinach in it. I've never tried one with that. So that'll be tomorrow's. Um, so yeah, I've got juice, coconut water, and all my frozen fruit. Should we go and blend it up? Should we go blend it up? Okay, so it's just in my Nutribullet. Excuse the noise. Wow. Is that so fun? Again? Okay guys, so here is my finished smoothie. That is the amount it makes, um, which is using a half pack. It is a bit runnier than yesterday, so maybe I put a little bit less fruit in, but it's still really good. Cheers. Cheers. Hi guys, Tiana here. Ooh, I am, excuse the noise. I'm on this vibrating board. <laughs> It's been, I've been on holidays in Brisbane and the last two days it has been pouring rain. Um, so I actually haven't managed to do much walking. Uh, um, yeah, so my grandma has this like, what she calls a wobble board. It's like a vibrating board you stand on. It's meant to like simulate running. <laughs> I've just been doing, standing on, on speed 10 oh my goodness um and do it for like 10 15 minutes and i've just been doing squats in between um i'm not gonna show you a full length image because <laughs> i look a bit like jelly but look at this <laughs> what the board looks like 
I don't know if you meant to wear shoes. Sorry, but I can't be shaky. I know when I do a squat. So you can see how bad my legs are shaky. Hey guys, I've just done a workout and it's time to weigh in. I am kind of dreading it, to be honest. Holidays and scales don't mix. Hi guys, Tiana here checking in for Fitness Week 2. Um, so, just a bit of a rundown how I went this week. I think I went really well. Um, so the challenge started on Monday, the 9th of October. That happened to be my birthday, so I kind of skipped a day and started on the Tuesday. So I actually, I'm in Queensland at the moment, so I've gone on holidays to visit my family, and I left on, I got here on Friday. Um, so I knew that was kind of going to be difficult for me um, with the challenge, but I didn't want it to stop it from me doing the 12-week challenge. If I had one or two bad weeks while I was on holidays, then, um, you know, I think I could pick it back up for the rest of the weeks um, so in terms of my weight I'm running on a pair of different scales um, than usual um, than my scales at home um, so it could be slightly different as well um, but I did jump on the scales today and it said 112.4 kilos which is actually up on last week I think I originally weighed in at 111.7 um, something like that so technically it says I'm up a kilo or a couple of pounds um, um, so in terms of what I did my one of my goals was um, to get up each morning um, an hour earlier and do a workout or a run um, and I was aiming for five days a week but three to five is like great for me because I was currently doing zero, no workouts um, at all. Um, so while I was at home, I pretty much did every day. Um, the first couple of days I did uh, a walk in the morning, maybe like 30, 40 minutes. Um, and then I would do a workout during the day with my son. Um, I think the third day I was like exhausted. Um, so I didn't actually get up early and run. Um, since being in Queensland, I did run twice, I believe. And then the last two days, it has been pouring down rain. I did do um, a workout twice that Lexi posted. Um, the um, 100 calorie workout, which is 40 jumping jacks, um, 30 crunches, 20... Um, squats and 10 push-ups. I did that two or three times this week um, But I really suck at push-ups. I suck like I really struggled to get 10 done which sounds so pathetic <laughs> And my number one goal which I am super proud of guys is no diet coke and I have survived um, My last diet coke I was aiming I was actually thinking I was gonna have one on my birthday when I went out to dinner I had a cocktail instead um, so my last Diet Coke was actually the 8th of October um, so I've gone over a week with no Diet Coke which is huge for me I am so proud if that's the only goal I stuck to um, I'm super stoked so even if the scales um, don't reflect it I know that I've um, put in a lot of work for me um, and I've stuck to that soft drink rule which is just huge the more that I'm working out the more I'm wanting to work out um, yeah so obviously while I'm holidays I am not um, I'm still going to be doing stuff three to four times a week five times a week if I can I'm still watching what I'm eating I'm not having soft drink but I'm not putting too much pressure on myself or the scales um, because I just want to enjoy spending time with my family and friends and not have to really think about it too much but I am doing the best I can at the moment and I can't wait um, to check out all your videos and see how you did week one. Uh, it's not as great of a week as I hope. I did have a lot going on, so um, 
yeah I'm feeling okay and I'm just so stoked about the soft drink because that's just like huge for me I know um, it will pay off in the end um, even though it didn't reflect that this week so please guys um, give this video a thumbs up um, and leave a lovely friendly comment saying it's okay you'll smash it next week and um, yeah any tips you've got on like um, stuff that I can do at home Thanks so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, and I'll see you in my next video. Um, don't forget to thumbs up. Check out all the other fitness um, participants. And um, subscribe. We are almost, I think, we are like one away from 200 subscribers, guys. So um, I'd love to hit that. Um, thanks for watching, guys. And yeah, I'll see you next week. Go for Bye.